Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. Come and like and share me. Come and take a seat. Come and like and share me. Your boy done switched up on you. Come and like and share me. over there hit that subscribe button for me and hit the notification bell beside the word subscribe so that you'll be notified each and every time that we upload a video and then welcome to this great family and if you didn't hit that subscribe button like i just told you to and then hit that notification bell you have lied to me and i know you lied period <laughs> you gotta check this out we'll go ahead and pray and we'll get into the goodness here we go Hey, man, how you doing today, Legion? What's up? What's up? How y'all doing? You guys, today, we have my favorite. You guys, we have pig ears, and we have some crooked neck squash. That's what they call. Okay, we've got our jalapeno peppers. Over here to the side, we got Big Ben is in the building, baby. Big Ben is here. Big Ben is going to help us out, you guys. And, baby, we finna get to eat. Let's see if you guys are refreshing. Ah, you guys, today I have been craving nothing but ice water all day long. Okay, you guys, over here to the side, you know, I've got our yummy tomatoes. It's always a treat for me because y'all know about the tomato thing. Okay, you guys, we also have the Lips Hot Sauce. And if you would like to get you a bottle, look in the description box. I put it way up at the top so you couldn't miss it. It's in blue. Okay, you guys, now... Like I said, we don't need enough for this meal, honey. But this all lips hot sauce and these tomatoes. Do you hear me? You hear me? That's all we need, y'all. Oh, okay, y'all. Let's get it crack a lack can. So how y'all been? How y'all been? How y'all been, honey? How have y'all been today? Okay, that's enough of those for now. Let's get some of this hot sauce working and twerking. Y'all don't get to get no bite without no hot sauce on it today. Because it's time to get to eat. Okay, y'all, let's get it. Let me move these. Mmm. 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 That's good. There's your squash. Your first bite. You see it? There it is. Mmm. 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 -mm. Y'all just squash. It's got a lot of crushed red pepper in it. Primarily because I had the top loose on it. And it just spilled over in now. I wasn't losing my squash. I cannot. Nope. I wasn't losing my squash, honey. Y'all know uh, our grocery is very valuable right now. Hey, hey. Mm. And I thank God for having some. I really, really do. I thank God. Every day. There y'all got the first bite of the pig ears. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Y'all. <laughs> oh, it's good. And speaking of good, you guys, we in to get down, in to get down, sir. Hey, we in to get down, in to get down, sir. Hey, y'all, we gonna get down shirt. And this hot sauce is hot. It's hot. Like hot, hot. Just how we like that. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's good. It's really good. But I think I done messed up, y'all. Anyway, so, y'all, I had the squash had already started cooking before I accidentally dumped the red pepper in it. And, honey, it was some of the red pepper in that, in that pan, honey. I got out all I could. I did. But 
That's all right. They fire hot for real. Mmm. They are. They red pepper made them hot. Mmm. So what y'all doing today? How you doing? And what you doing? Y'all, we just got some good old H2O and Big Ben today. Y'all, this is good. You guys, pig ears are my favorite meat in the world. Like, there's no meat that tastes better than pig ears to me. Mmm. Mmm. It's just not in my taste bud. For real. The car, yeah, we back with him again, boo. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh. Y'all, that's just good. It is just good. Like, for real, for real. It is just good. Mm -mm -mm. So, look, y'all. We got something to talk about today. But I'm going to eat a little bit more before we get into it. I was a little hungry. Mmm. 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 I ain't hangry. Mmm. Mmm. My bad. I ain't hangry. Because I've already eaten one time today, y'all. Mmm. Oh. Y'all, let me tell y'all something. Really. Today, I have craved water. All day long. Like all day long. <laughs> mm. For real. All day long. I have. Woo. And I've just been drinking it. Like I've drank two. This is my third glass, full glass in Big Ben. And I have a 32 ounce cup over there that I'm drinking out of as well. And I think I've had two or three of them too. Y'all, I don't need them jalapenos. I don't need them, honey. I can just send it back here for decoration. Got this hot. And that's most definitely hot. For real. It is. So, anywho. Mm, I hope you guys are doing great. I hope you guys are being safe. I really, really do. I hope all of uh, your loved ones are healthy. Healthy people. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm. Yeah, it's good. It is good. It's really, really good. Oh. Um. So, y'all, what we're going to talk about today, y'all, is personal accountability. Hey! That's what we're going to talk about. You guys, personal accountability for uh, you is something that I struggle with myself. It is a daily struggle. Um, you know, uh, and what I mean by it's a struggle that I struggle with is being personally accountable means a whole lot of things. It means a lot of things. It really, really does. But we're going to talk about... Mm. 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 We're going to talk about your personal accountability as a whole, as a person. As being accountable to God, being accountable for yourself and your own sins, your own actions. That's what we're gonna talk about. Um, and I say that to say, we as people, and like I said, I struggle with this well. We as people, we can see the bad, we can see the hurt, we can see the pain that others cause us, okay? 
And we won't tell them. Cuss them out. You know, fight them. Somebody that's ignorant. You know, there's a whole lot of things that we want to do. Um, you know, when others hurt us. Because that's something that you can feel. That's something that, that has affected you. You know what I mean? But, when the struggle comes in there, y'all, where the struggle comes in at is you have an accountability and knowing how things make you feel, but you find yourself doing those same things to other people. Hey, hey, hey! But for some reason, because you can feel the hurt and look at things from your point of view when it comes to other people, most of us Gonna look at it when that same shoe fit your other foot. For real, we don't conceive that the things that we do are the same. You know, and you have to be accountable for that. Um, hurt is hurt. It don't matter who it's coming from or what size shoe you wear. It don't. Hurt is hurt. Hurt is hurt. Pain is pain. I mean, you have different kind of pains. You have a physical pain. Where it's like, if I come at you and pinch you, it's going to hurt. You know what I mean? Um, but the pain, I'm talking about the pain that you feel in the inside. Your feelings. Um, how you want to be treated. If, or if you've been treated negatively. Um, you know, it's easy when you can feel it to say, you did this, you did this, you did that. But you might not know. And, and the thing of it is, too, and then, y'all, we put levels to pain on other people. We try to say that what we done to someone wasn't as bad as what they done to us or people do to us. And that's not the truth. Is that the truth? Pain is pain. And like I tell y'all, this is something that I struggle with daily. Um, I'm very aware, conscious, and I can feel what a person does wrong to me. In turn, in most cases, I don't, I'm not accountable like I should be for what I do. Because the only person I can change when you're dealing with grown people is yourself. That's the first thing. You can't control nobody else, not no other grown person. You can't make them do nothing they don't want to do. And you try. I know I do. Because um, I have expectations of how I think things are supposed to go. I do. And I'm a loud person naturally. I just am. So... Because I'm a loud person, and I have a big personality, a lot of times I really am misunderstood. I really, really am. However, that doesn't change the fact that I hurt someone, whoever it may be. Um, and like I said, but it's personal accountability. Uh, it's about being accountable for the words that come out of your mouth. So trust me. Trust me. Hurt is hurt, pain is pain. It's all the same. Um, the, I mean, and the thing of it is, I think where, in my case for sure, where I fall short a lot of times is what's important to the next person ain't important to me. You know what I mean? And since it's not important to me or it's something that wouldn't have hurt my feelings, I just overlook it. You know, in my mind, okay, you can't be that hurt behind this little bitty thing. Not knowing, y'all didn't go a piece. Get your pee. Not knowing what that person done been through in their life and why this feels that way for them. For real. It's a daily struggle, y'all. 
I really am. Because you've got to be accountable for you. You do. And if you expect that other people are going to hold your feelings and what hurts you in regard anymore than what you done to hurt them, you're crazy. You're crazy. Loony. You really are. Each individual person, you're going to see things through your eyes, through your heart, through your feelings. You know what I mean? You're not going to see them through other people's when it comes to any situation. Now, I'm the person, me, <coughs> excuse me, Alan, I may not agree with you. I might not like what you said. I may have wanted to take my cane and bust you upside your head. For real. But if I care anything about you, especially, or I have, I'm going to do my very best. I mean, literally, I don't think there's been many things that I've had between me and anyone in life that I couldn't at least see your side or see why you felt that way. If in fact that it comes to that point that continuously over and over again, I never can see your point. Y'all, it's time for you to move on from that friendship. You know what I mean? It's time to move on um, because if you don't have compassion for the way that other people feel, for the way that other people feel, I'm the type of person, if you can't teach me something, because I will listen to a four-year-old talk if they're talking with some good sense. I will. I really, really will. I will listen to a four-year-old, y'all, if they're talking with some sense, especially saying something that could help me. You know what I mean? <clears throat> but, if you're, uh, but if you're a person that I can't learn anything from, I'll be nice to you. I'll be very polite. I really, really will. But you're not going to be a person that I'm going to want to be in my inner Jewish. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you're just not. If I can't learn nothing from you, you know, I don't see the relevance in relationships that you can't learn anything from the person. You know how a person is stagnated? You know, just repetitiously in their lives. It's, it's a, a, a good way to say it is the same old soup just reheated. Every time you turn around, uh, in whatever situation that, you know, some people are such creatures of habit that even when how they deal with other people, it's the same old soup just reheated. Over and over and over again, same old soup just reheated. So, I can't learn from a person like that. I can't. Because you're too, you're too, you're too predictable. For one, and life is about change. Life is about evolving. You know, even in the Bible, God said that you'll be twice a child. No, yeah, you'll be once an adult and twice a child. It does. Meaning that you'll be born as a child. If the God says so, God's will in the creek don't rise and you make it to adulthood, you're accountable for your own self, for your own sins. You're accountable for them. And with that being said, <clears throat> y'all, it's hot. I think it was a little bit, I think the hot sauce had really stuck in that piece. Mmm. 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 That's good. And I lost my train of thought. Hey! I don't know where I was. But I do want to let you know this. If you think of things in the form of you know everything right, like none of the person going to bring up that you don't know something better than what they think they know. Are you crazy, man? You crazy. Um... Ugh. For real, you live in a delusional world. 
And if you think that other people mm, are supposed to react to things in the manner that you would or believe the things that you believe or put emphasis on the same thing in their life that you put in yours, you're probably going to die lonely. You probably are. I mean, I hate to say it. Some people get lucky and find a mate prior to them brewing into this person that they become and then the mate is strong enough just to stay with you. But however, if that if you weren't so lucky, by the time you're of age where you sit in your ways, it's going to be hard for you. It's going to be hard for you. So, like I was saying a while ago, the Bible says that you're once an adult and twice a child. That's what I was explaining to y'all. Which means you're going to be born as a child. You're going to be reared. You're going to grow up. You're going to become an adult. You're going to be responsible for your own sins in the way that you treat other people. And yourself. Mm. 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 He's so nice and refreshing, you guys. So, with that being said, if the good Lord blesses you, spares you, you know what I mean, to long a nice long life, eventually, your mind is going to revert back like a child. I mean, it is. That don't mean you ain't going to have no sense because you've learned for 70, 80, 90 years. Um, but and so it comes to some a lot faster than others. But your mind returns back to a child. Like, most people don't understand. Like, with older people, especially, like, you may find, you know, that old lady sitting under a tree. She called me over and she said to me, Hey, my days left here may not be long. I wouldn't waste my time telling you nothing wrong. Now love is a flower beneath the sun and the rain. Hey, hey! Hey, hey, hey! I don't know why they jumped in the spirit that quick. But anyhow, anywho, the little old lady sitting under the tree, dipping snuff. You like walk by her house and she cuts you out. You think to yourself, that's a crazy old lady. Or, you know what I'm saying? Or, you know, just got a bad foul potty mouth. Things like that. Some older people will hit you with their canes and stuff, their walking devices, honey. You mess around, be that sit around, thing to an old person. Oh, hey, hey! Baby, I'm going to tell you something. An old person be to hit you so fast, honey, you won't know where you at. You'll think, oh, look. Me? Was I hit? You know. For real. Some older people quick with the draw. For real, y'all. And you may have pity on them. Or, don't get me wrong. It's like, uh, you know, Alzheimer's is a, is a horrible disease, you guys. It really, really is. But, I want you guys to know that. Those people, when it comes that time when they've lost their mind, and I know it hurts because they can't remember you and you live a whole life with them. You know what I mean? Um, I'm sure there's a bunch of questions to be asked. Why you don't remember me? Was I not special enough? You know, there's a lot that comes with that. It's like I said, it's a nasty disease. It's a horrible disease for a person to go through. But this is what I want to tell y'all. Mmm. 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 Dead old lady. We're going to live all those years. And now that her man is reverted back to a child, when there's a draw, she in hog heaven, or he's in hog heaven. Um, I know it's like I said, it's a very troubling thing, like Alzheimer's. But um, when their man goes back to the child, the Bible says, you know, a child. I'm not quoting anything in the Bible. 
this is just my own understanding, is that children are saved in the kingdom of heaven. You know what I mean? So, if you die at 90 and you're back in that child's safe, to me, I feel like you're, you're sa your soul is saved. That's in my head. You know what I'm saying? That's even in my head. You know what I'm saying? be right. So, to me, in my opinion, once your mind reverts back to being a child, I'm kind of like, you know, your sins are no longer <coughs> yours. You know, because as children, our sins aren't counted against us. <sighs> um, I don't know. Just my thoughts. Just my thoughts, y'all. Anyway. Well, I know for sure, um, we all have to be accountable for us. We do. And you have to have a mind opened well enough to understand that the only thing that smells like lavender all the time is lavender! Hey! <laughs> That's it! You ain't gonna know everything. You ain't gonna be the best at everything. You ain't gonna have the best understanding about things. And what you think and feel don't make that be so. All person you be accountable for is yourself. You don't make the world go round. There ain't nothing more special about you than it is the hundreds and millions of billions of people that came before you and that's going to come after you. It ain't nothing more about you. <clears throat> nothing. The Bible says that only God is all-knowing. That's it. That's it, y'all. Anyway, um, you guys just know that you have to be accountable for yourself. And a part of being accountable for yourself is to look at how you affect other people. That's a part of your own accountability. It just really, really is. Um, now, if you've been living 40 years and uh, for, for 40 years you've been doing the same thing and that you knew of what you've done, it has never offended a person. <coughs> And then all of a sudden you run into somebody that does, that's just a bad day. I mean, you just had a bad day. In my opinion, you know, just some things are kind of universal. They don't harm people. Um, like, saying, hello, how you doing? You know what I'm saying? 99.999% of the time, you know, that's not going to be offensive to a person. And that's a very simple and generic thing to show you a parable of. But, after you get to that 999, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> hey, after you get to that 9.9% .9 or that 99.99% .99 of people that you didn't hurt, that's going to be a one person you're going to run up on one day and you're going to say, hello, how you doing? And they're going to say, what the, are you, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Because they don't want to be spoke to. That offends them if they're in the wrong mood or in the wrong attitude. But anyway, y'all, we're going to get up out of here, okay? I hope that you understood what I was trying to say. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I hope you have enjoyed. I love you guys so, so much. And we're going to get up out of here. Legion. New and old. I love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. New Legion. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Legion. My existing Legion. You know. What's up? I love you guys so, so much. And I'm going to see y'all next time, okay? I'm going to see you next time. Big Ben says good night. Hey, <laughs> Big Ben says good night. Mm. 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 He's nice and refreshing. You guys, I love you guys so, so much. I'm going to see y'all tomorrow, okay? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys, look. Always remember that piggies are the greatest. <laughs> hey, that there's more than one way home. All you decide to do is get there. So get there, people. Get there. I love you all. And I'm going to see you guys next time. And if you're not there to watch me next time, you have lied to me. And I know you lied. Period. <laughs> bye. Bye. Now, I need you to 
Come and like a share. Come and like a share. Come and like a share. Don't forget to. Don't forget to. Don't forget to. Come and like a share. You guys, I love you guys so, so much. I will see you tomorrow, okay? Bye-bye.